An infectious disease spreads from an infected person to a non-infected person. The infected person is what we call a case because that person has the disease or the infection. The non-infected person to whom the disease could spread or might have spread is the contact. Generally in our society, in every society, human civilized society, we always have multiple contacts, so to speak, because we interact with a lot of people, both in family, in the environment, at school, in work hours, in office, and, and several. Even if I go to a grocery shop or a departmental uh, store, I'm interacting with a lot of people. So if I'm infected, then I would be having a lot of contacts. Now, not all of these contacts will be infected by me because this disease needs relatively close contact for more than 15 minutes. And this usually happens, usually happens in the context of a household inside home. It can happen in the context of a work setting because that's also for six, seven hours as we are spending in the office. It can and certainly does happen in the context of healthcare setting. If I'm gone to a, to a clinician's chamber for something, let's say a pain in the leg, nothing related to COVID-19 but then I turn out to be COVID-19 positive, I might have infected the doctor or vice versa. These are the ways that infected person can infect a non-infected person who is called a contact. And this contact is not necessarily physical contact. This is a virological or a bacteriological contact. And because this is a respiratory pathogen, so it can spread from person to person through coughing, through sneezing, uh, through loud singing, loud talking, if it is very close distance.